We know better than that, Ariani. Even that being so, Miss Marielle, I can't help but worry. Worry about what, Miss Ariani? I was saying how we've always made the best of this festival, lass. Eugene didn't have all those horses last year, did he? There's no denying that, I suppose. It's such a shame. The festival may not be as compromised as it seems, but... It feels as though there's nothing but ill fortune coming our way, huh? Elizabeth's goats aren't getting any better, are they? Not that I know of, Miss Lorley. Eferberg isn't what it used to be, is it? There's no need for such negativity, ladies. It's not negativity, Miss Mariel. You must agree this town has been rather unfortunate in recent times. It's a matter of perspective, Ariani. We can only hope nothing else happens before the festival. Still wondering about Elise? I'm, I'm on my way home, Mr. Eugen. No need to worry. I thought you'd be looking after your horses. He's getting some much-needed rest. I'm not confident he'll make the night, if I'm honest. Mr. Eugen, I'm at a loss, truth be told. Kieferberg isn't known to house thieves, and I wouldn't want to believe it, but... I understand, Mr. Eugen. You no longer feel safe here. I've been thinking about it, maybe settling someplace else. Hey, Mr. Eugen. I haven't decided yet, but I'll put some thought into it after the festival. There's no business to be made here without my horses, you see. I understand, Mr. Eugen. Move along now, lass, before it gets any darker. Ah, I'll be out here, huh? Fireflies anywhere. streets here. Ah. Did Freya finally talk you into having supper with us, Elise? You make it sound like I'm pressuring her, Papa. I'm on my way home, Mr. Gustav. Won't you stay, lass? You're pressuring her. I'm not, Freya. You're the one who won't shut up about Elise. Papa. I have her waiting for me and everything. I wouldn't want to... Oh, of course not, Elise. It's a little late to go fetch her, so... You all ought to get together before Rosamarine leaves town, I'd say. Oh, you mean Elise, Rosamarine, Lepkuchin, and I? That's such a great idea, Papa. Isn't it, Freya? These two have too much energy. Isn't it time for you to head home, Elise? Glass can look after herself, Gaido. I'll be alright, folks. These two are on edge, you see. We're completely drained after looking for those horses all day. Yet we found nothing, even after all that running about. It's good one of Mr. Eugene's horses made its way back. 
About that, we're not too certain it'll live, lass. I've never seen a horse looking that worn down. All I can say is that poor lad didn't deserve this. We really ought to lend him a hand. You've been spending the night looking after the horse tonight. Said he ought to be there in case. Such wretched luck he's having. We know better than that, Ariani. Even that being so, Miss Marielle, I can't help but worry. Worry about what, Miss Ariani? I was saying how we've always made the best of this festival, lass. Wait, I've done this. Fast forward. Okay. Anybody in here? Ah! Feeling rather lost, aren't you? What would you know about it? Well, there's nothing to fear, lass. He truly is quite merciful despite everything. I see. Your wish is in good hands and so is ours. And don't forget you'll be sharing our fate if you betray him. Betray him? Why would I? Why would anyone, huh? What? Silk purse. Oh, wow. Oop. A little bit. Silk purse to sell. How much is a good price? 30? Oh. Elise! Oh, what does this old hag want now? Where do you think you're going, Elise? Huh? I need to have a word with you. What's this about, Miss Bertha? Your cousin, that's what it's about, Elise. The lass has been wondering about town, you know. She's been helping me out, Miss Bertha. No, I don't think so, Elise. Your cousin's been telling folks there's no thief in Kieferberg. He's been insisting on the hag riding, hasn't he? Well, Draken is one thing, but your cousin has no right to be spreading such nonsense, Elise. Alright, I can have a word with her, I suppose. This is dangerous. I ought to make certain I bring Rosemarine to work with me, or I'll have to deal with this every day. Ah. I thought you'd never come about, Elise. Oh, spare me. Here's your bread, Elise. You must keep yourself fed. You too, Leprechaun. You're looking just as tired as I am. Can you tell? You're not as mysterious as you think you are. Hmm? Now that's better. Move along, Elise. It's best we head to bed early tonight. The Lord knows I can use some good sleep. How is he to know when you hardly ever pray, Elise? It's not as though he makes for good conversation, so why bother? Good night, Lepkachin. Good night, Elise. Yep, 30. That's back up. Uh... 
three. Uh, I'll do four. That's Mr. Eugene's... You've come, you've come. Huh? This crow, it's speaking to me. You're wearing them, you're wearing them. Shiny, shiny. What is this? What's the meaning of this? Who's there? The Hex, the Hex. You're the bearer of the Hex. Hex? What Hex? The Hex, the Hex. You've heard of it, you're wearing it as we speak. The Hex, the Hex. Stay away! Show it to me, show it to me. I have nothing to show you, go away. Why, yes you do, your desire. Your fervent greed, your boundless hunger for glory. Show it to us, show it to us. My eye! What have you done to my eye? Show it to us, show it to us! Out with it. You wretch! The testament to your tender flesh is waiting you in my grove. A testament? A grove, our grove! Wait, Wait you! I'm waiting you, release in my ceramic grove of wheat. A testament? Anyhow, I have to let Mr. Eugene know about this horse. This is awful. Riddled with holes, the dead horse's neck has been nearly shredded to pieces. The past time? We'll see. Ah, here. <laughs> Mr. Eugene! Good lord, Elise, what's got you in such a hurry? There's a horse in the crossroads. Are you certain, Elise? Yes, yes, I'm certain. Lass says she found your horse, Eugene. Take me there, Lass. I'll go fetch the others. You know, but instead, Mr. Eugene. It matters not, Lass. Take me there. It was right here, I swear. Good lord, Elise. Would you tell us what you saw, Elise? There were crows, and the horse was... Are you certain this was where you saw it? Yes, yes, I am. You're tired, Elise. I'm certain this was just... There's only one answer to this, folks. You're lying, Elise. I'm not lying, you old fool. If you let me explain, I could tell you. He said the horse was dead, Elise. And it was. How could a dead horse trot away, wouldn't you say? It's no use trying to reason with her, Tristan. She's lying. Oh, Elise, of all things to lie about. Now what is it about these crows? Wait. It's the truth. I've had enough, Elise. I'll be in the stables. Elise? Elise? Oh, Elise, are you speaking the truth?
Yeah, I saw the horse. There was a horse and there were crows. Then that can only mean one of two things, Lassie. We either witness the witch's doing, or you're the witch trying to deceive us. That's enough, old Jockin. Let us say there was a horse, Elise. What's this about crows? I think I saw what I saw. I won't deny any of what I said. Please. Please. I'm just shocked to see there's nothing here, Rai. Uh... Really, I wouldn't lie about such a thing. You think you've got us fooled, huh? <sighs> you shouldn't make such accusations. It's best we. Can't you folks see she's trying to deceive us? You know something, Elise. What? I don't know what it is, but I'll have it said, Lassie. You can dance with the devil all you want, but you won't. That's, ridiculous. That's enough. You've all had a difficult day today, folks. We're all exhausted, drained, and on edge, are we not? Why are you trying to defend your... Mm. You know, Lepkitchen's quite right, old Jackin. Let us turn in for the night. We can come back to this tomorrow. Mm. I'd like to have a word with you, Gustav. You too, Lepkitchen. Mm. No need, Father. I trust Lepkitchen's judgment. Yet I don't. I see. I'll go with you, Father. <gasps> You're going home, Elise, and you should think long and hard about what you've done. Mm. That was dangerous. I'm worried about Lupkachin, but... I'll have to go home and tell Rosa Marine about what I just saw. Actually, I wonder if that reset anything down below. Oh, there's anything in the forest down here. Huh. Anything reset down here? No fireflies or anything? So there's hoof prints, looks like. Yep. Oh, uh, no, wait. Those are actually mushrooms, I think. to come back some other time. Ah, okay. Please. This is bad. This is very bad. If it had not been for Lipkachin, those folks would have... They would have found out about everything. About the woods? About what I did? That's right. I'd best get to the Crow's Grove. The testament. They have the tender flesh. I should... Please. 
Rosamarine. What's wrong, Elise? I don't know where to start, Rosamarine. I'm so tired. Huh? It's this this rotten pigsty of a town. Elise. Elise. I saw one of Mr. Eugene's horses on the way home, Rosamarine. It was dead, but it was riddled with crows and... I'm sorry, I... I don't understand, Elise. You should tell. You know... More importantly, Rosamarine, there was a golden crow. He said he's got a testament. Oh, Elise! A testament! Uh, I'm... This is too much for me, Rosamarine. What? what else did he say, Elise? Uh, I'm so tired. Huh? I ran back to town to tell everyone about the horse and they... Uh, they humiliated me, Rosamarine. Elise. Elise. Uh, Each and every day I'm treated as though I'm some rich. No matter what I do or say, I'm always... Always... This wish of mine, Rosamarine, can I truly trust him to grant it? Yes. If you devote yourself to him and do his bidding, you're already aware of the sacrifices you'll have to make, but it's... I would sacrifice all of Kieferberg if I had to, Rosamarine. Uh. I can't stay another day in this town. I have no choice but to find him. Oh, I... Take me with you, Elise. Huh? You're going there tonight, aren't you? To the woods? Mm. Alright, I'll... I'll let you know when I'm ready. Later at the viewpoint, okay. Oh. Huh. Ah, the guy there now. Backyard. Fireflies, nope. Look nervous, Elise. That's because I am Rosamarine. We can talk about it. I can try and. No, it's all right. I don't want to think about it. Let's go, Rosamarine. All right. Keep close to me, Rosamarine. Lord knows what we're gonna find. You still haven't told me about last evening's... Right. Whatever happens, Rosamarine, promise me you'll keep close to me. Uh, of course. Of course, Elise. Right, Elise. Everything alright? Come, let's go. Rosamarine, I... Maybe it's best you stay home. I can, but... This is dangerous, Rosamarine. That crow attacked me earlier, and I... All the more reason for me to go with you, wouldn't you say? I'm serious, Rosamarine. Oh my, Elise. Alright, alright. But promise me... That I'll keep close to you? I know. For goodness sake... I wouldn't know what to do if anything happened to her. I can hardly protect myself, let alone look after Rosamarine. Is everything alright, Elise? Let's go, we don't have all night. Oh, it's so exciting. Exciting, she says.
is where it happened, Rosemarine. At least look. Those are horseshoes. There are so many, too. These weren't here earlier, Rosemarine. It doesn't make any sense. There are feathers scattered about, too. Are these from the crows you saw? I don't know what to make of this, Rosemarine. Come, Elise, we have no choice but to see for ourselves. Rosemarine. Wait, Rosemarine! Rosemarine? Rosemarine? Silly lass, she must have wandered in all by herself. Rosemarine! Rosemarine! Oh, I was gonna check the... Because there has to be a way back. I have to find Rosemarine! That's my Rosemarine, okay. So it has to be way right back into that cave, but... Probably gonna be through that door. 